Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Observation. Uh, when we left off, Emma had given us a list of tasks, starting with finding the authorization code from the captain. And this has happened before, except now it's in the captain's quarters, which is kind of suspicious. This happened to us in RU06, I think. So let's see if we can fix it the same way. Emma. My cameras in EAS-7 have failed to initialize. Weird. Maybe Jim turned them off. This feels like the setup to a jump scare, or the revelation of fixed. something... Try them now. ...dramatic. Or... just... nothing. What was the point of that? Maybe it was to create the tension? of not knowing what was coming. The tension of, it might be a jump scare. Hmm. Photograph of Jim Elias at his EASA graduation 2008. Wonder if that's the authorization code. 2008. Uh, there's a dead laptop, but Actually, there's multiple, but couldn't get into it. Oh, this takes a pin. I'm gonna set this aside for now, but my guess is the graduation date is the pin. Keep looking around anyway, though, just in case. Message for home, Sam. Morning, Tiger. I hope everything's okay down there. I just wanted to say good luck with the exam today. We've got something going on up here that, well, I hope I'll explain a lot about how it's been, why I had to leave again. Tell Mum, tell her, tell her we'll talk soon. I love you guys. That's it, Sam. Yeah, I'm growing more and more deeply suspicious of Jim. Oh! Yeah. Totally is the graduation date. <laughs> How do I... Ah. Two. Zero, zero. Eight. Precursor one. Mm. The code is precursor one. It appears to be a mission code. Precursor one. But that's not a mission code, Sam. What the hell is precursor one? Well, it seems to work. That's the auth code in. I wonder if those will come up later. Precursor 1. I can't interact with this. What is this mission a precursor for? It obviously has something to do with our hexagon buddy. Who I'm about to just start calling Super Hexagon. And how we ended up on Saturn. What the fuck? Who is... Oh. Oh! I thought Emma had crossed in. Speak of... The geometric devil. Five squares. A line. Down. Five squares, line, down. It's amazing the shorthand your brain just comes up with. What is this thing's deal? There are little globules. Mobius. Cube. Four cubes. Mobius. Cube one D, and then there it is. I'm beginning to feel like these are instructions for some reason, and it's communicating via symbols. It's actually reminding me. Okay, hold on. Check blocks line. 
five squares. Check. There we go. Line and then the five squares. It's reminding me uh back in Bloodborne. The theory that the make contact gesture where uh, your arms form right angles was a way to communicate with uh, intelligent life that you understand the principles of mathematics. And so that makes me wonder if the symbols, particularly with this thing being hexagonal, have something to do with that, maybe? Or it's just entirely supernatural, which... <sighs> okay. Red Ascension. What the? Near field server offline. Far field server offline. So what am I to do with <laughs> with this? Uh, I can get him back online, maybe. Coordinates available in communications. Okay, let's look around. Oh, hi! <laughs> there we go. Okay, what do we get now with near field? What? Okay. Am I just scanning the surface? Oh, there's the rescue station. That was not as hard to find as I thought it was going to be. 16, 14, 22, 48, 11, 11. Okay, where is communications? Is that one of the modules? Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I see it up here. I didn't notice that tab before unless it just got added. Oh, cool. The numbers are just right there, so you don't have to... Memorize that whole sequence. 16, 14, 22, 48, 11, 11. I think that's it. So. I, I... I assume this is as intuitive as it looks. So far, at least. Last one. Precursor one. I'm gonna assume that I want this broadcast to Emma Fisher. Then check that. Um, hit it. Okay. Sam, that's a good sound. You've got us back in business. Here goes nothing. This is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. This is Observation. I have visual. Please respond. If you can hear me, please let me know in some way. It's, um... It's just me left and Sam. I'm not sure how we ended up here. There was a massive power outage, some noise, and then we ended up here. <laughs> I'm assuming you know all this if you're here to pick us up. Repeat, this is Emma Fisher on board Observation. Please respond. Sam, that alarm. Is that an incoming comms message? It must be the rescue station. It can't be ground control. It's, it's, it's too quick. Okay, so we're going back into communication, incoming. It's encrypted. 
See what you can do, Sam. Okay, but what about the other one? Same deal. Okay, so into the memory core we go. Hopefully I have everything I need to do this. Uh, three fragments remain. Corrupted audio, audio data to data one. Then what are you? Decryption protocol. This is Josh Ramon on board the... Oh my god, it's Josh! <laughs> He's alive! H how is he? If you can hear me, he got to the other station. Another station. He's trying to. Wake him up, please. I knew he wasn't dead. I just knew it. I guess he must have made it across after we saw May when the rescue station arrived. Oh god, thank god. Sam? I'm heading to the airlock. Get in your sphere. You're coming too. I didn't even realize that everything else that we uh, come across, like documents and memos and stuff, I ends saw up a movie here. Once, where they have to jump from one spaceship to another. They use the explosive decompression of a module to throw themselves across. Why bother? <laughs> you can just aim and gently push off. And I can honestly say, now that I'm in that situation, there's no way in hell I would trust my trajectory to an explosion. So that's where you come in. EMU suit. Message to crew. Station doctor here. I've run weeklies on Josh, Jim, and May. But still need Staz and Ailsa for Bloods and Jim time. If anyone's got some actual bioscience for me to do, then throw it down my way. Directives from Houston have run dry. Sometimes I wonder why they sent me. So since it looks like we're going back out into space, oh, this is so fun. They put so much more work into simulating zero G than you might think, but still managed to keep the budget pretty constrained by doing okay. clever things. You ready? Like having an animator uh, in a suit with accelerometers stitched in. I don't think it's one of the typical mocap suits that you would use a full studio for, um, but this accelerometer suit, they had him perch on a stool and have people had people uh, tilt the stool around when they needed to animate someone moving in zero G. That would normally take a session, uh, like I said, in a full uh, motion capture studio, which can be tens of thousands of dollars for that one session alone. And then if they have to go back and make any changes to the scene, they have to print it out all over again. That's a huge cost. And they saved so much this way. And this is because the founder of the studio is ex-Rockstar, where they had functionally infinite money to just do whatever had to be done. Whereas No Code is a small studio of 11 people. And now I have two stations. It was initially four people, by the I'm way. Jumping off into the deep end. I have no control. Oh, okay. God. That's us tethered together for the jump. Really worried about a gravity situation going if down. If I start to drift, you can try to course correct in the sphere. I'm not sure the science is spot on, but it's better than nothing. You can be my anchor. Oh, okay. Here goes. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. Sam, you're drifting. You're gonna hit that module. I 
I want to see that storm again, but also, oh god, this is going to make so many people motion sick. I think I just noticed something weird about the storm. Okay, be careful. You're going to hit that module. Please, 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 please. Got it. Got it. I'm on Sam. Oh god, I never want to do that again. Be careful. Still don't have control. Okay, that's us in. Let me get your light on. Looks like this module isn't used much. This is crazy. It's the exact same design. I thought they reused sections of existing stations for observation. There's no power by the looks of things. Guess you will be my light, Sam. I think I'd prefer you up front anyway. Straight ahead then. Nice and slow. What the hell? showing ammonia in the air. I'm going to keep my helmet on until we get out of these modules. Okay, I think we have the CN hatch control uh, schematics, so should be able to open that. I couldn't interact with it, though. Fuse box, maybe? You have to turn the power on? No. Um... Let me check this with, when I reorient myself finally, let me check this with Emma. These hatches are not connected to my system links. Of course, sorry. Just hang on, I'll try to budge them. Bonk. Okay, so what bullshit are we about to run into? <laughs> this is so weird. It's identical. So much for us being a flagship. The hatch ahead is open. We can access Universal. Josh, do you read me? Where are you? We're here. There are signs of injury to the station crew. Oh my god. Is this the observation from, like, a parallel timeline or universe? Message to crew, Sam. Hi, everyone. I know a lot of you have been getting head up about requests from Houston and from me that have been butting into your work this past week. I just wanted to see that you all have a role to play here, and getting frustrated isn't helping anyone. Frustration leads to mistakes, nothing more. As you know, some aspects of every mission are above your pay grade, and you know I can't divulge anything more than that. Keep focused on the task at hand, please. Aspects of the mission above your pay grade. Yeah, this is some real Wayland yutani bullshit. Oh, suspicion over Jim deepens. What do we have going on in here? Oh, I thought that was more than it actually is. Oh, wait, we have windows. Hold on. Uh, anything, anything, anything. Laptop. And then I want to check those windows. Mm, gonna have to find that pin. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I get it? Yes! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I noticed that the storm is hexagonal too. 
What is going on? Is that a thing that can actually happen? It feels like it shouldn't be, but oh. Uh, but also the patch on Emma's shoulder is a hexagon too, and then obviously the entity and the logo and the key art and stuff. Okay, so I think that that's something to think about. Uh, I think that might also lend credence to my theory from earlier about communication via math and geometry. And I think that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.